It's been 74 days since the Merrimack Valley gas explosions, but the oversight that led to the devastation, Senator Ed Markey says, started long before September 13th. The company allowed an unqualified engineer to approve the pipeline construction work plan that led to this disaster. During the Senate field hearing, Markey and his colleagues spoke to a packed gym full of people with different connections to the fires and explosions, among them the family of Lionel Rondon, the teen who died in the disaster. We will not have the joy of seeing the wonderful men we know he would have become. At times, his sister held back tears while addressing the crowd. Nobody should ever go through what my family has gone through ever again. After the emotional remarks, the president of Columbia Gas and the president of its parent company, NYSource, were among the first panel that stepped up to answer questions under oath. We expect honest and thorough answers from the company. Our constituents deserve nothing less. In total, nine people will testify and also face questions from the committee. Things were scheduled to wrap up around one, but this could go longer into the afternoon. Reporting in Lawrence, Michelle Fisher, WBZ News.